Hey guys, um, I'm back for some more Red Zone stuff. <coughs> Today, I thought I'd show you kind of one thing I've been working on, and then like some different ways of how to use it, and a tutorial on how to build it. And so, this thing is a sand can. And as everyone knows, sand falls if there's no block beneath it. And the cool thing about that is, is if there's no block beneath it, if it's falling or if it's moving in the air, TNT can push it. So I actually found this on Seth Bling's channel on YouTube. Go check him out. He does really cool stuff with redstone and command locks, and he does weekly snapshot reviews. He's pretty cool. Yeah, but I actually got this design from his channel, so I've kind of used it to, to create kind of a little chain. Um, I'll show you that over there. That's kind of a chain of TNT. So, the basic principles are the TNT is lit, just like in a TNT cannon, then there's a delay. I'll show you that in the tutorial. The piston pushes up and then it drops, but and then the sand says, Hey, there isn't a block underneath me. So it falls and the TNT pushes it. To explain this, I'll show you. So the TNT ignites, delay, piston goes up, it falls, and then the sand is blasted over here. Oh, that's funny. That doesn't usually happen. But yeah. Of the basic principles. And then with like repeaters and delay, this was kind of a thing I experimented on. You can make something like this. So this is just some TNT with a delay from when <coughs> that um, the TNT is ignited. And yeah. So what happens is if you put it like that you'll see that the delay is going and it has to actually be lit because you can't allow the sand to land so the sand gets fired up in the air and yeah then it lands in a random location you can be pretty precise with where this lands it usually lands in the same spot but after you've hit it like that it's kind of random where it lands so um, yeah, so I will now show you the tutorial on how to build it. So, what you're going to need, you're going to need a water bucket, you're going to need some sand, you're going to need redstone, you're going to need TNT, you're going to need a piston, a button, and repeaters. And also, some sort of building block to put the button on. So, what you do is, First of, first of all, let's dig our trench. So you want four blocks, like that. Because here's where the three TNT will go, and then there's a water source, water source block to stop them from blowing up the terrain. Then you put your button right here. And then you put your piston there. So now you have this. So it's four blocks with water at the end, and then a piston for the fifth block. And then you put a block here, and you put your button on it. And then you thread redstone down there, that will ignite the TNT. And then you put three repeaters, one, two, three. And then two redstone and one, two, three, four, dig four blocks out. And then you put one, two, three, four repeaters in. <coughs> And then you set them to, you set all these to four ticks, so one. Now with this you set to three ticks, just so two clicks. And with that you just, and with the last one you leave it. So now your TNT can, your sand cannon is ready to go. So all you need to do is put the TNT in, put on the sand, and they should work. Just like that. And then, of course, you can wire it up for your own contraptions. 
um, over here actually, I'll show you very quickly. I have kind of a cool thing that might be useful in maybe a Rube Goldberg device, if you know what that is. Um, yeah, so, my, um, I'm actually going to talk a bit about what I'm going to do with my channel. So, I just started a few days ago, so, I'm kind of asking you guys what you would like me to do. I'm probably going to be focusing on Minecraft and Redstone, because I like doing that kind of stuff. Um, but maybe for special videos, maybe for holiday specials or subscriber specials, I might do something a bit different like survival. I don't know. Or I might have a special guest. Um, by the way, I have some friends over at a channel. They just started as well. It's called Pancake Productions Gaming. They're pretty cool. Go check out this channel. You should definitely subscribe. They're really cool guys. So over here, I have something. As you can see, you need a block here for that lamp to be powered. But um, but you have this a giant sandstone pillar in the way, and then this is just to stop the sand. But this sand cannon actually launches stuff so high that it will just completely clear it. Like that. It'll just sail over the top and land there. Sometimes you don't need those two blocks, sometimes you do. I keep them around just in case. But yeah. Over here, we have another design I was working on. Now, this one's a lot harder c to control, as you can see, two random sand blocks over there. What I've done here is I have a double sand cannon. So this happens. As you can see, sand gets dropped off. And it gets blasted off in two different directions over here. You can see that little blob of sand and that little blob of sand are where that one went. Well, it might be those two. Yeah, it's probably those because that was one. Oh, well, yeah. You can make something like this, which is one, two, three, four, five, and then you can have a supercharged launcher, which goes pretty far. But. I think that's enough with the sand cannons. Now over here we have a cool TNT cannon. And it's only, it only takes, it's only this big. Now I might do a tutorial in a different video because this is pretty complex. But the basic idea is these repeaters are all powered with, <coughs> um, these dispensers with TNT in them, as you can see, are powered by repeaters that are wired up to this button. This is the propellant. All these go into the propellant. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's 12 TNT, which is a lot more than your regular TNT cannon. Over there, you can see there's some holes from where I tested this earlier. But then, uh, you have to build this repeater quite high, otherwise the cannonball will bounce off it and not gain that much height. But I'll show you what happens. So, all the TNT has been dispensed. That cannonball is dispensed, and it fires, and then it explodes. Really simple, easy way to do a TNT cannon. So, I was actually just playing around that with that with my friend quickly set the time to day. Um, yeah, I was just playing around with that and it worked. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Also, over here I have a cool little door. It isn't a trap, although it does look like it. Oh, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, so this is a cool little door. It just opens up the sand. Of course, it doesn't really work because it was just a cool little thing I was trying to build. So you walk through and the sand falls down. It might be like a good trap or something, I don't know. But you guys could work with the design. I'll quickly show you the redstone. So basically what's happening is... There's a torch there, which is powering redstone, which comes around here, and 
powers those two pistons. But then when I stand on it, it reverses the signal and so the pistons retract. And all you need to do is put some sand on top, step on the pressure plates and the pistons open up and the sand falls into the void because otherwise I just have a bunch of sand accumulating. Yeah, just cool little design for a door. I don't know how you could use it maybe in a map or something. <coughs> but yeah, so again, tell me in the comments what you want me to do next. I might show you guys this. This is kind of like a launcher. Although you do need two people to do it because one person has to be inside the... TNT. Oh, huh, that's funny. That is wired up. I'll quickly do that. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. So, basically, what that's doing is that is putting a bunch of TNT in there, but there's water at the bottom, and then it explodes and it sends you flying into the air. It's really fun. It could be used for a mini game or something, but actually the concept is pretty similar to the TNT cannon over there <coughs> with the dispensers. But yeah, guys, so I have one last thing to show you, and then I think I might end the video. This is an arrow launcher. Eight dispensers, and then you have repeaters for each dispenser. And then what you do is this is a really, really, really fast clock, and that lever will actually p make a sticky piston pull a block, push a block up, and so this will get power, and then it'll pulse it. I'll show you how it works. So as you can see, a block is now there, and now that's firing arrows. But, yeah, I just thought that was a pretty cool design. Of course, afterwards you have to collect up all the arrows and put them back in manually, but maybe you could make some kind of hopper system for that or something. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.